So P. Diddy is confronted with everything in regards to what Gene Deal has said. And his face reactions tell you what you need to know. Named her love. Her name is Love Sean Combs. Oh, yes. And I just released a new album, and it's called The Love Album. So love is really, could you trademark the word love, love and keep there. it for yourself? I mean... Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel, send a super thanks, comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. So Gene Deal has been speaking for many, many years. I don't believe he signed an NDA. And of course, he's still to this day discussing everything going on with the Kim Porter Cassie related stuff and how Diddy is a dangerous man. Now, P. Diddy was confronted when he was on the Jimmy Kimmel show. This took place a week, five days to a week before Cassie dropped her lawsuit. In this entire interview, if we just sit and examine it for a minute, he is extremely nervous throughout the interview. It's as if he knew what was coming and he knew that the time was near and as if that was going to be his last appearance on a daytime popular show in America. That's what it's giving. It's like he knew something was happening and he didn't know how to stop it. Now, P. Diddy, you know, is sitting there quite nervous, asking, answering other questions. And it's like Jimmy Kimmel is taunting him. It's like Jimmy Kimmel knows he can taunt him, like Jimmy himself is protected in some kind of way. Of course, Jimmy discusses the fact that he saw this guy on YouTube, his ex-bodyguard, talking about how that he beat up Will Smith um, over J-Lo back in the day. And for a good five seconds, he is staring at Jimmy Kimmel. If you watch this video closely, I'm going to replay a couple of times. He used to be your security guard who said that when you were dating J-Lo, Will Smith and Jada tried to pick her up on a threesome and you were gonna beat up Will Smith, is that true? <laughs> beat up Will Smith, is that true? <laughs> he's staring at Jimmy Kimmel because he's pissed. He never expected Jimmy to go there. And he was like, Jimmy, I thought we were friends. Like, what are you doing? He literally says that right after. Jimmy, I thought we was friends. <laughs> <laughs> And it clearly goes to show you that Jimmy's kind of taunting him. I wouldn't even be surprised if Jimmy knew that this was coming out in some kind of way. No, I it's all about no, love, though. That's no, not true. You, you really are. You're yeah. telling me I can't believe everything I read? What? <laughs> or he knew that PDD would be over, or PDD would be going through something crazy, or that he would lose control or power in some kind of way where he can be taunted. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't put, put it past his industry. A lot of these people on the higher ups know what's going to happen before it takes place. So I knew PDD, I thought, not I knew, but I feel like PDD knew what was going on, and even Jimmy knew. And the fact that Jimmy knew he was using it to his advantage. The fact that he said, yeah, should we not believe things on the internet? Just really taunting him to a whole new level. I just find interesting because this is really before the hurricane, before the storm, before the scandal, um, you know, how things were set in motion. And if you now with knowing what we know with everything and all these lawsuits, if you watch this interview back, I think it's extremely important because it goes to show you that this man knew what was coming. The love brand he keeps on talking about is a PR image and that love face that he he has slips quickly for that quick moment when he's discussing, you know, um, the bodyguard and he looks at him and he stares at him. I can't believe anybody actually confronted P. Diddy about Gene Deal or, you know, the people speaking out, but you can see that he gets very pissed off and angry in the face that he's giving. That's probably the same, same face he gave Kim Porter, he gave Cassie, he probably gave Young Miami as well when things didn't go his way and he switched many times. This is the face of Diddy that we just don't see or have not seen for so many times and he was presented to be a pioneer when in actual fact he's nothing but an abuser. That's what he is. I think this is just a very important you know, interview. I watched it again today and I just thought that this is important information but I wanted to package it in just five minutes because we know I don't need to be sitting there for 15 minutes child talking about this interview ain't that deep but I did really want to talk about it just for five minutes just to get it in there as a quick little PD nugget just to show you prior to the aftermath, you know, what he was feeling. And I felt like he knew this was my last time. It's over for me because I don't really see him on a daytime talk show anytime soon. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this quick nugget. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. I would appreciate it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm filming this video for you at a very late time in the morning. Don't ask me why I'm awake. I have no idea. Maybe it's insomnia. I don't understand, but I've always been a night owl. I don't know if any of you guys have been, but sometimes I just be up for too late. Anyways, subscribe, click that button. This is not a vlog and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.